Hello, I'm Jeremy Bingham, and my day job, I do the back-end stuff for a certain large political website, but today, I'm not here to talk about politics, I'm here to talk about building a viewing shelter for cheap. And trust me, $100 really is cheap for this. So, if you live in the city, you may occasionally like to be able to go out and look at the stars, but your neighbors have all these lights around. And... You know, like the lights will shine in from their garage in the alley, or the neighbors, their upstairs windows, going to shine in. But what can you do about it? Well, if you're like me, you could build a, a shelter, or you could do one of these other options that's coming up uh, in just a moment. <laughs> <laughs> you could do nothing, and you could have like the uh, the neighbor's garage blast you in the face six times because somebody's driving up down the alley. You buy a tent; those are like they're fairly expensive. You buy a dome, like my father-in-law has, and it's really cool, but they cost thousands of dollars. Or you could build a shelter. You need plenty of one-inch PVC pipe, 16 10-foot pieces, not, not 10. Uh, eight PVC corners, they, they kind of look like that. We'll get back to that. If you want to cut the pieces in half, you get eight connector thingies. And you need uh, the, 70, the 12 yards of 72-inch black felt. So cut the PVC into eight seven-foot pieces and eight six-foot pieces. If you want, you can cut them in half and join them with the sleeve connectors. Make the corners. If you don't, if the corner is not the same size as uh, your pipe, you'll need to have it done like that. And you're probably best to ask the guy at the hardware store to help you with that. <laughs> uh, for the curtains, cut the pieces to be four foot wide. Cut little squares out of the top corners, fold it over, make a little loop. If you're like me, get your mom to do it. Because <laughs> I don't sew. And she has a sewing machine. And you put it together. See, you just put it into like a little box, and you put the curtains over, you know, through the loop, and you put them together. It takes about 20 minutes, most of which is curtain. Uh, if there's a slight breeze, the wheels start blowing around. So what I found is if you clip the sides with uh, with clothespins, and then you take some twine, you put it on the bottom, loop it around, you clip a clothespin to that, it holds it in place. Then you get in and you start using it. <laughs> Do not use it in the daytime. <laughs> it will not help. <laughs> okay. Extra things you can do. If it starts getting windy, take it down. I had it collapse on me one time. If you want to look at the horizon, open the curtain. <laughs> and consider getting a shelf to have in your shelter. Like this one. I built this out of found wood that was in my garage. Some of it was up in the rafters for some reason. <laughs> but it's really nice that so you can put your eyepieces and maps and whatever you want on it and not have to go in and out of your shelter constantly. Unfortunately, like anything that costs about 100 bucks, it doesn't help with everything. It's really sad, but, you know, if you're doing it cheap, you can only ask for so much. Things it will not help with. It will absolutely not help with the sky glow. Unfortunately, a $100 shelter made out of felt and PVC cannot block out the light from the city. <laughs> also, it will not be able to help you with the clouds. Once again, a $100 shelter built out of PVC and felt, cannot control the weather. And under no circumstances will it help with the moon. This shelter will not destroy the moon. As much as you like it to on a night like tonight when the moon is out and the sky is clear for the first day in weeks. But that's, that's, what it will do is it will block out the light from your neighbors. Like, if this light was in my yard, it would be hidden from me. And I would be able to, like, get dark adjusted and be able to look at things. That's what, and that's what this does. But it, what, it, what it does, it does it pretty well. You know? It's not as nice as a dome, but it doesn't cost, like, $1,500 to $5,000. So, thank you. Uh, I'm Captain underscore Tennille on Twitter, and I do tech and astro stuff there. Thank you.